How's it going everybody, Ben from Basic Mew here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am at last opening my Stellar Crown Booster Box. I should have opened this last week in fact, but it was delayed. I'm opening it now because well, I did open the um, what call it, Paradise Dracona Booster Box on Monday. I did switch it up a little bit. I did, you know, say it in my last video when I opened the Stellar Crown ETBs. So there we are. And let's see what we can pull from this set. So far, besides a few illustration rares here and there, haven't really pulled anything too great, honestly. So hopefully that will change in this video. Well, and now, without further ado, let's get into it. I do have to cover Marnie's face here a little bit, otherwise the camera would constantly freak out about the autofocus. The camera hates playmats that have faces in the background, which is part of the reason why I don't use my trainer's salon um, playmate, uh, playmat as much anymore. Because the autofocus is just horrible with that playmat, even though it is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite playmat that I do have. Anywho's, let's see, maybe first pack. I think last time around with, um, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, Twilight Masquerade because I didn't actually pull a special illustration rare in Twilight Masquerade, at least from the booster box. I did pull it like a few days later from a German booster bundle. So that was pretty nice. Um, which was it? Which one had the Marty's Conviction? Was it Paradox Rift? Or am I misremembering things now? Or was it? No, it must have been Temporal Forces. Because I really wanted to pull like either of the future or um, ancient Pokemon, you know, Raging Bolt, um, Scoring Fire, not too sure about the name. I just remember Raging Bolt. Hey, Lapras EX, that's very nice. Our first double rare up right here, and here's the code card for that one. And like Iron Leaves and so on and so forth, you get the gist. I really wanted to pull either of those. I ended up pulling the Marty's Conviction, I think in the second pack as well, which was really surprising. And that actually, that was at one time pretty expensive, but it has come down in price, which is good. Pretty sure it was just like artificially inflated on, uh, what should we call it, TCG player. Because all the crazy things seem to happen on TCG player. It seems to be like the platform is very easy to manipulate. I mean, the term manipulation is being thrown out here and there, all around, whenever a card is gaining in traction. But I, it just seemed very odd that that card in particular was really expensive, and now it's back to the normal price, I would say. This pack does not want to open. That must mean that this might hold a special illustration rare. Let's see. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Temporal Forces was also the booster box where I forgot a pack and accidentally, like, almost threw it away until I found it. No camera wasn't rolling, I was already done with the video and decided to open it off camera because I thought there was not going to be anything in there anyways and ended up pulling the Garchomp special illustration rare. So that box technically had two special illustration rares. Unfortunately, I didn't capture it on camera. So at some point, I will have to repeat that if that's even possible. That was like the first time too I've ever pulled two special illustration rares in one booster box, but then again, I don't really open many booster boxes anyways. I usually just open one on release, oh well, with this one close to the release at least, and then that's about it. To be fair though, I do have to say, if I hadn't, or if I had gotten this booster box in time, I wouldn't even have opened the ETBs. The ETBs were just so I could, you know, keep up my my upload schedule and well it's also the new set so it wasn't like a completely random video it actually did make sense that's a cool i could have sworn that was by kavayo but no that's a different artist okay cool looking the room here's a mewtwo firing a what we call dusk ball no not dusk ball what is the what is the move called i keep forgetting the name i know the name in german but i can't think of the name in english i'll have it up here on the screen somewhere maybe i'll remember it later on Maybe I do. Hopefully I do. That would be nice if I do. But yeah, having me having grown up with German Pokemon, of course, and all the games in German, you know, there are still some Pokemon and moves that I do not know the English names of, so I do apologize in advance. 
Either way, though, either way, I am catching up slowly. Here is our first illustration rare, a Joltik. That's a really cool one. Very nice. All right. First thing. And the Iron Bowler. See, this is another one from Temporal Forces that is really cool. Pretty much all the special illustration rare Pokemon from Temporal Forces do look really cool. Now, that's two packs. You know, as per usual, I am surprised by how many packs a booster box actually has. Every single time, I have to mention it every single time, and I will no doubt mention it a bunch of times throughout the video. Alright, let's see what we can find in this pack right here. Frogadier, Drift Blim, Eevee, Emeril, and a Blastoise EX. I pulled this one from the ETB as well. So there we go, kind of like a double pull, but that's all right. That is all right. All right, moving on to the next pack. I do also have to say thank you to Crystal Collects. She shouted me out in her last video. If you haven't seen that one, go check out that video. She also opened a Paradise Dracona booster box. And I think she got way luckier than I did. She, she hit an ultra rare and a super rare. So definitely a little bit luckier than I was with my opening. So there you go, Grim Snarl and Grim Snarl again. Okay, didn't know that could happen. There you go. We're also closing in on 1,000 subscribers. We're we're inching closer each day, which is really really interesting. I do have something planned for the 1,000 subscriber special. I just have to figure out what. There's probably going to be a poll on the channel at some point, you know, once we... Maybe when we reach like the halfway point, so I do get enough time to prepare everything. So as soon as we do hit the thousand, I can just adjust my upload schedule and just upload the 1000 subscriber special. But there we go. Really cool stuff planned and I, I'm actually curious to see which option will win. Now that is to say that even if one option lost, I might do them in the future anyways. Kind of like what I did for my birthday special a little while ago. I had a poll up for like um, the UPC battle, like the 1.1 UPC versus the Charizard UPC, which ended up winning. Um, wasn't really surprised that that one won. And I also had a pack battle between um, Shiny Treasure EX and V-Star Universe. And I did that video later on anyways, because I thought that was a fun idea. And I actually ended up pulling a God Pack. Whoa, okay. We have something with texture here. Let's see what it is. It's the Duck Spun Double Rare. Okay. Oh, I would love to pull the special illustration rare of this one. This is a Pokemon that I totally haven't mentioned in my um, earlier openings of Stellar Crown. Man. That is a really cool special illustration rare. It looks really delicious. I love that kind of illustration. It's probably why I like the Mill Tank from V Star Universe and Crown Venice so much. Because the illustration just looks super cute. It's like they're having a feast, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Alright. Maybe we can have a pull in this pack as well. You know, two for two. Let's see if we're lucky when well, we're not lucky in the first reverse spot. Because I just lifted up all the cards. Here is the Lacey, and nope, just a holographic right there. I did pull the Lacey in Stellar Miracle, so I'm really happy about that. So I really, I mean, in terms of cards that I really want from this set, obviously, I think everyone just wants the Terrapagos. That's also like the coolest one out there. And me personally, though, I'd be happy with any special illustration rare. Yes, even with the Lacey, even though I already have her in Japanese. Just any special illustration rare. That would be very nice. But other than that, there's also a ton of cool illustration rares in here. We've already pulled the Joltik. Here is the Turanator. This, is, this isn't one that is, that is on my wish list, though. Still, it is an illustration rare, so it goes right there. Melmetal. And here is the code card for that one. As I've said multiple times throughout each of my openings, nothing is promised in English booster boxes. But in general, in general, we could expect three illustration rares up in here. And then probably one more of the, of the, whatchamacallit, um, full arts or better. We'll see. Maybe we can pull a Crispin full art as well. I'd be happy about a Crispin full art, not gonna lie. 
because I haven't um, pulled him in Japanese, and I don't have him obviously in English yet, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, I think the reboot is in here as well. I kind of have to think about, like, I opened Stellar Miracle, but it's also just opened um, Paradise Dragona, so I might be mixing up some of the illustration but I'm pretty sure the reboot is in here. Yeah, the Zera Aura is in here as well, because I pulled that in German, I think. So the reboot is a a illustration rare that I really, really want to pull, and there's also the Crab Nominal, I think it's called, but I think I pulled that one in in Japanese as well. Either way, though, that one looks really, really cool. So if we pull either of those two in, in English, that'd be very nice. Venusaur, that goes together very well with our Blast Toys right there. There you go, and here is the code code for that one. Very nice. So far, I'm pretty happy with this right side. Looks like we only have three booster packs on the right side left. Then we're already halfway done with the booster box. Feels like it's been over in a jiffy almost. All right. I think... I think I have a good feeling about this pack right here. I have a really, really good feeling about this pack. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. Right, I should be doing that like before every single pack, and then whenever I make a shorts out of it, it'll look very cool. It will look like I am clairvoyant or something. Well, there is the ace card. Don't know what it is yet. It is the Deluxe Bomb. Okay. Okay. Very nice. The Deluxe Bomb as our ace spec card. We might get a second one in a booster box. I think it's either one or two. I think in the last one in Temporal Forces, I did pull two ace spec cards. Let me put that right there. So let's see if we can't pull a second ace spec card. Let's see. Well, I kind of was right. I had a good feeling about that pack, right? And we ended up pulling an ace spec card, so not too shabby. Not too shabby, Vicavolt. We've got an Azumarill, Coronavine, we've got a Dreadnaw, and a Raging Bolt. That's a cool looking illustration by Kodama, though. Really cool. Shame it's just a holographic, though. But, you know, it is what it is. So, in terms of my personal collection, that's a great topic, I think, to talk about. Because, you know, I love doing these mail days, and I actually have some mail, like, sitting right next to me, but I'm waiting for a few more letters before opening them on camera, and there are actually EX cards, like old school EX cards, you know, from the Ruby and Sapphire era. And I was kind of surprised how expensive some of them have gotten. Well, actually, it's not just EX cards, there's also some Prime cards, but I think for the most parts it is gonna be old school EX cards. And some of them have gotten really expensive. Surprise- well, actually it's not that surprising, they are pretty old. Alright, and on to the left side of the booster box. Our final 18 booster packs. Let's see if, if the final 18 are as good as the first 18. I think we've gotten pretty lucky with the first 18 booster boxes. Let's see, Meltan. Score Bunny, that's a cute looking illustration, love that one. Electrovire. Dubwool. Pangoro. A Fido. A Gulpin. And a Holographic Melmetal, okay. Nothing in the first booster pack of the left side, but that's okay. You know, we still have plenty more where those came from. Let's see. So yeah, personal collection. As I said, or as I stated, I think, in my Twitter post, I want to buy more cards for the personal collection in 2024. And I've set myself the goal to hopefully complete my EX collection by the end of the year. We'll see if that's possible. Briar, that's a really cool special illustration rare as well. You know, if I had to choose, I'd probably choose the Briar. Well, the Zera Aura, it just follows me wherever I go. This is the third time I've pulled this card. It could be way worse. This is an awesome card to pull more than one time because the illustration is so well done. I love this card, man. That is a really cool pull, nice. So that is potentially our final illustration rare, which it, kind of, which it should, honestly. That should be our final illustration rare. As I said, nothing is promised in English booster box. It's all random, but generally you can expect three illustration rares. No more, no less. We're still missing a bunch of EX cards and possibly, I think, two more full arts. At least one more, I think. 
hopefully better than just a full art, but you'll never know. You'll never know. I think they are st like they are slowly reducing the um, what we call it the pull rates of the of the packs. This is something that I've noticed. You know. On at release, you always get these statistic posted on Twitter, and then they get reposted on, um, or no, on Reddit, and then they get reposted on Twitter, or vice versa, of like pull rates from like five thousand packs, and it's kind of interesting. Like compare those to the pull rates of um, what you call it. Which was the last one? Paradox Rift? No, Paldea Evolved. Um, the one that had the Iono special illustration rare, which I still need for my collection, by the way. I think that was the last set that actually had, like, really, really good pull rates. And then it, like, slightly or slowly dripped down. I think the worst might have actually been Twilight Masquerade. Or maybe it's Shrouded Fable, because I couldn't pull anything from Shrouded Fable. Shrouded Fable is also a really weird set. There we go. A Ducks Bun EX goes well together with our full art Ducks Bun EX. So there we go. I think one more EX card should be in for us in these booster packs right here. And then hopefully more of this rarity or higher, of course, and then maybe one more ace spec card. We might also get one more um, textured EX card or terrestrialized X, um, EX card. But we shall see. Let's see a Sparta, a Glamial, Pancham, looking very, very energetic. Carjibuck, Crab Domino, didn't pull the illustration we are for that one in the opening in Lapras. Lovely illustrated, our Reverse Raging Bolt, our Ancient Root Fossil, and another Raging Bolt. Okay, the double Raging Bolt. Surprised it wasn't a Lightning Energy in that pack. That would have been very fitting, but oh well. So as I said, bought a bunch of old school EX cards and... A lot of them have already arrived, some of them are still out and about, you know, traveling the world to actually get to me, and I'm really excited to share what I've bought. Surprisingly though, the ones I have bought weren't actually that expensive, and also surprisingly, I think all of them so far are actually graded. Um, which doesn't matter, because I'm gonna crack them out of the case and slap them in my binder anyway, so... Graded or not. Funny thing is, those graded cards that I bought actually ended up being cheaper than any raw card I could find, in a decent condition, that is. I'm sure you could find damaged copies for way cheaper. And even though I technically try to go for like a PSA 7, if I do buy graded cards and I intend to slap them in a binder, I tend to go for PSA 7s because for the most part they look completely fine and they are well enough for, for a binder copy, um, which is part of the reason why I jumped like almost immediately on that very rare... Um, Mew EX, like that play promo. Oh, here we are, Cinderace, nice. As I said, one more textured EX card. Very, very cool. A Cinderace EX, together with our Lapras. So yeah, I tend to go for PSA 7, which is why I bought the Mew EX, the play promo, as a PSA 7. Still cost me, I think, about a thousand euros, which is really, really expensive, but it is one of the rarest Mew cards in existence, so... I just pulled the trigger. It has been on my wish list ever since I got back into the hobby. And never thought I'd actually be owning the card at some point, but there we are. And my Mew collection, I think, so far is done. I have no intention of buying any more Mew cards. Because the cards that I really want, or the Mew cards that I really, really want, are not attainable. Because they are too expensive. Or, as for the, um, whatchamacallit, the... Hang on. And like some Mew cards can't even be found, like the uh, Mew Art Academy promo. Um, that's actually only available in German. Supposedly a hundred copies of those were given to the winner, which was Fanpy. That's the name of the illustrator. But there have only been, I think, three public sales for that one, at least with PSA. And you, know, you can't even find a listing of that card. I think there might be one on eBay.com. But that's just for all the Art Academy promos, like graded with PSA. And obviously, I think that's like running at $500,000, which if I was a millionaire, multi-millionaire, maybe. But as we're sitting here right now, that's a card that I will probably never own. 
Uh, it's a shame, though. The card is really cool. Although, I do have a um, proxy version of that card. I did buy a proxy version of um, of Etsy. And, you know, that is well enough for my binder, just, you know, for completion's sake. And I really like the illustration, to be fair. Really, really like it. It's actually really, really well done. And if you think about it, it was done on a Nintendo DS. That card was drawn on a Nintendo DS. Oh, I say the card. It's really just the illustration, right? You know, just the... Just this part right here. But still, that is very, very impressive that something like that can be done on the Nintendo DS of all consoles. Very impressive. All right. We've hit somewhat of a dry streak after pulling the Cinderace. Let's see if we can't remedy that with a nice looking special illustration rare right here. Togedemaru, Frogadier, Buffalant, and nope, just a Kling Clang. Well, so far, so far, we've only pulled one full art. Hopefully there's something more hiding in these packs because otherwise, hmm, that would be kind of disappointing. That would be kind of disappointing. I have a good feeling about this pack right here though. Like this pack, this pack is gonna have a really, really cool card in watch. Just you watch, it is coming. Just watch, here is the Lacey Electrovire. If I have a Jirachi, Comfy, Crispin, and a Mel Metal. That is a really cool card. Well, I wasn't wrong. It did have a pull, so there we go. That should be all of our EX cards covered. Shouldn't get any more EX cards, no more illustration rares. Maybe one more ace spec, and then hopefully at least one one full art or better. Hopefully better, but we shall see. The duck spun. You know what would would go very well together with this whole opening? The duck spun special illustration here. Because I have the normal EX, I have the full art. That would go together with the opening very well. So maybe we can round it off. With the with the duck spun special illustration. Here is a cover yo illustration. Koridon. Very nicely done. Toad scroll. Gravity gemstone wulu. Got a carja bug again. And a holographic Zera Aura. No goes for that pack, unfortunately. We still have some packs. We don't have a whole lot left. Let's see, how much do we have left? Five packs left! Starting to sweat a little bit here. Maybe it's only one full art in this whole booster box. Maybe only one full art. Hopefully not. Hopefully the wait for the booster box was well worth it. Hopefully we don't end up being disappointed. Although I've pulled the Zara Aura illustration around, so I'm pretty sure that in itself is already pretty nice. Iron Boulder. We have a Reverum. And a, an All Creamy. Ah, maybe it's waiting in the very last pack. It would do something like that, wouldn't it? Ah, that would be a fitting end in the very last pack. Let's see. Hopefully we can get something at least. Also, while we still have some packs left to cover, I've bought the new Chinese expansions. They have chipped as of recording this one, recording this on a Friday evening and then releasing it on Saturday. So they have shipped now. Hopefully they arrive at the warehouse tomorrow and then I can start shipping them out with DHL. And then hopefully they won't take three weeks this time and just two weeks, which would be very, very nice. Can't wait to open those. Um, those are the equivalent to Lost Origin and Silver Tempest, I'm pretty sure, because they feature Giratina, and, well, the Giratina alternate art and the Lugia alternate art. Chinese um, card sets are still kind of odd because they're still catching up with us in the English TCG. There's a whole bunch of, like, odd cards mixed in their, their normal sets. So it's not just, like, a straight copy from, uh, whatchamacallit, from Lost Origin. I think there's also some cards from V-Star Universe in there, although I might be wrong. Um, let's see, here we go, the Earthworm. What a surprise, I've pulled this one too in my ETB opening. Well, I've pulled this one as well. Hey, at least we get a second full art, so that's not too shabby. We get a second full art. Maybe we can get a second A-spec card as well. That would be very nice, but let's see, maybe, maybe we can be surprised in these last few packs. 
Maybe these last few packs have all the pulls, like everything that matters. Varum, Azumarill, Area Zero Under Depth, Lumineon, Slow King, Kalang, and a holographic Grimmsnarl. All right, I have, I believe, in this very last pack. We also have the Gavantula on the cover right here. So, let's see. Are we lucky? Can we have some last pack magic? As they say in the biz. Some last pack magic. Let me just show off the code card right away. There you go. There you go. Apple in. Got a Crab Roller. A Wooloo. Very cute looking illustrations. Land it. Got a Double. Lantern. Got an Elder Goss. Kind of spoiled that one with the Vicar Vault. And a Squirtle illustration rare on the very last pack. Oh, okay. So we did end up getting three illustration rares. That is very nice. Okay. We ended up getting a Squirtle illustration rare. So I've kind of forgotten about this one and the Bulbasaur. I kind of forgotten that these were in the set because these were in special decks in Japanese. And the Charmander was just a promo in an ETB in Obsidian Flames, I'm pretty sure. So just putting these two in in a set like this feels kind of weird. But there we go. Hey, that is very nice. That is very, very nice. That is probably one of the best illustration rares you can pull from the set. Okay, so the last pack did have something great with the Squirtle right there. Nice. I'm very happy with this opening. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is a subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.